three point five. So we've had a bit of a Sorry. do with YouTube, but YouTube are now watching us. So welcome YouTube. Oh. Could you please explain for us what you're doing today? Everybody who's just joined on Facebook as well. Hi YouTube. And hi Facebook. So basically, uh, we decided to upcycle an MDF board from our beautiful third generation twin TR20G that we have it here. It's a nice, chunky piece that might go for a really big and bold project that we might use it for. And see that we always say, don't throw away any parts in the package that we might receive uh, our, MD, our moldings. We decided to show you how to use them. So empty balls you might use them as to paint or to cut your uh, woodland products without damaging the surface that you're working on. Or you might use them for a project. For example, that could be a poster, that could be uh, a key holder, or just a wall decoration. It's all up to you. So now that we try. Ciao Italia, hi Sweden, hi Laura, hi Crazy Mira. Oh, we've got people watching Rogue we've got Germany with us today. Alright. So don't forget everybody, like I always say, we've got a giveaway today which is the perfect decor party you can see here. And all you have to do, you can probably quote me on it, is like, share and comment and the winners will be announced on Mondays on our Posh Talk Creators and Artisans group. Uh, hmm. Would you need paintbrush? No, no the sound paper, please. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, any. Yeah. Thank you. So, to take off the edges, seeing that we have a bit more, and we, as we, and we don't need it, I prefer to go with the sound paper. For example, that one is 240. And just go side the corner. But for that, to be able to do that, you need the decoupage paper to be completely and totally dry. And you go from your project to the outside, okay? Hi Turkey, we've got Florida watching as well. Look at that. Okay, let's go. Now we're going to go with a posture metallic base and for that I chose Pearl silver, as from I think it's quite the same color as the decoupage. But however, I'm, I might mix it with white titanium. Here we are. And to do that, I'm going to take our thin extending box paintbrushes. I love them. I don't know, I feel very comfortable working with them. But I have some smaller one just to go into the details but yeah uh patty is really excited she says i finally get to see you live hello everyone from michigan usa hi patty right so Hi Mexico, Mexico's with us today. We've got Blanche and Diana. Hola Mexico. Okay. I'm go I went over a bit, but no worry. If you remember, I went with a posture pigment infuser, so the decoupage is safe. All I have to do now is take a wet wet wipe and clean the paint while it's still wet. But hi, California. Hi, Kelly. Okay. And as I said, I'm going to take a small one just to plan the side. So, what's everybody doing today? How's the weather? We've kind of had a bit of a, um, it's really sunny today, but it's not as warm as it has been. But we were outside sunbathing on our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> or I was at least. <laughs> no, I'm going to take some black carbon just to go for the sides. 
to now this one. Uh, silver. And let's a tiny bit of black color. Hola Diana, yo estoy muy 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 bien, muchas gracias. ¿Cómo estás tú? Oh, we've got lots of people watching from the USA. It's nice to see you all. What time is it over there? Well, it's quite early in the morning. Is it, is it like yes. nine o'clock in the morning? Yeah. It's like you've got a whole new day. Ciao, Are Viola. <laughs> When I was younger, I thought that if you went on a plane, you'd go back in time or forward in time. Well, in a way, in a it way, is. yeah, in a way, it is because if you have a flight at nine here, you might. Well, I used to get really upset because if we went to like Spain or Greece and we were two hours ahead, I'd be like, "Mum, I've lost two hours of my life," <laughs> and then she had to try and explain the concept of time. <laughs> so you went into the future. I did go into the future. So it's 8.15 in Tennessee. I think someone else just said it's 9 o'clock. I've just missed your message. There's so many messages coming in. It's lovely to hear from you all. 6.15 a.m. in California. A little after 9 a.m. with Laura. Is Laura, are you in Pennsylvania? Uh, Laura Mariotti? Yeah. Yes, she is. Oh, Australia, it's 11.15 p.m. Well, we are across the globe. <laughs> And um, guess what song I have in my head now? Around the, the world, world around. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. So, what do you think? Can you see the mark, the side, or the margin of the decoupage? Sam Black on YouTube is absolutely loving this piece. Let me zoom in for you all. See. Um, I think it's just so sweet. What do you want to do with it? Are you going to like... Well, as uh, we spoke, we can uh, make it as a trail, as a tray, yeah. as a coaster, or as a key holder, or just as a decoration or on the wall. You know that some people like to put a plate on yeah. the wall. That'd be so cute! Imagine like a load of trying to put it in an oven. <laughs> Oh, it's quarter past four in Cyprus. Uh, how is the weather, Cyprus? Yeah, how is the weather, everybody? Are you enjoying? I, I just hope that you're near the sea. Have we got any new people watching as well today? Because I feel like there's quite a few people watching with us, which is lovely to see. So is anybody new? Is it your first time with Would You Ben Posh Talk? Oh, Teodora says, que chulo, so cute. <laughs> Right, and now we go on to the main Never. character, Ooh. to the main hero of our project is the Trim TR24, third generation, higher density, clear de uh, details, higher compression rate, which allows it to maintain the heat longer and allows you a longer time to work with. It has all the properties of wood. With a bit of extra, once it's longer up with a heat gun, hair dryer, electric griddle, it gives you a lot of opportunities where and how to apply it. And look at that. And now it's time for. Do the wormy squirmy. <laughs> wormy, wormy squirm. I can't remember from what pattern, <laughs> my daughter had it and plant it in my head. Okay. So, as I said, the third generation one means that we continuously work on, on them to perfect, to make them better, so you will have the best experience as you might have. And, so, yeah, go sorry, ahead. I know we've got Lisa watching today, she's a newbie, so oh, big, welcome. big welcome to Lisa, it's lovely to see new people. Okay. And as you can see, there is no shape that you would not be able to apply the wood band on or to shape it the way you want it. And seeing that I have a rough idea of the size, once it's warmed up, once it's, once it's warm, you can cut it with a craft knife or you can just 
tear it apart if you don't care about the side as I'm doing right now because how I'm gonna mitre it to have a perfect and exact. Mihai is the mitering king. <laughs> well, to the king there is a still a long way, but. And I guess like for the new people watching, I'll try and see what I can remember as well because I'm kind of new to the okay, company go. now. So Mihai's using the Puffin decoupage here and he's applying it to the back of the third generation Woody Bed packaging, which is a really cool sustainable packaging that helps to protect the mouldings. Um, and the decoupage itself is made from rice paper. You apply it to a white surface to kind of keep those beautiful colours in there. You can tear it easily using some water and the effect that you get, it almost looks like it's an authentic painting. It's absolutely beautiful. And to place it, you just use the post chart pigment infuser. What will, what's the next step now? So the next step, after he has sorted out the moulding, has gotten to the length that he wants, he has to apply some glue to the footprint of the moulding or onto the surface. Exactly. <laughs> well, seeing that you're here already, go for the five steps. Okay, right, so there's five if you, if steps. You have to, if you want to have exactly the same quality that we do here, as we guarantee, we would suggest you and recommend only to use and go along with the five easy steps, as we like to call it, to have exactly the same result. So the five steps for the wood chipper moldings are, you've got to heat it up, so you can use a griddle or a heat gun or even a hairdryer, and then you've got to apply your glue to the molding, which is the second step that Mihai is doing now. You can either apply it to the molding or to the surface, um, and then you've got to press it and get it into sort of the place that you want it to be. Then you heat it one more time, and then you press it another time, and that just makes sure that you can get it into the perfect position that you want it to be in. Great. Oh. <laughs> it's very important that the footprint of the molding or the trim of the Woodigan product, let's call, let's say like that, would be much easier, to make sure that the footprint of the Woodigan product is properly and completely covered with good quality wood glue. In our case, we use tight bond quick and thick. Yes, it does exactly well what it says on the package. So it's quick, quick and drying and thick, so it's not running over some other glues, so it's not too liquid. Okay. And any glue that sort of spills out from the side of the molding, that's a good thing because it means it's stuck down properly. So you can just wipe that with a bit of water. It's you see me? Hi, go on, yeah. let me sit on this chair. <laughs> Don't worry, soon we'll have a chance. Oh, imagine. <laughs> Until I get myself all nervous and flustered. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will be the first next. Don't worry about it. Oh, Tracy on YouTube says, my daughter loves penguins. Quite a few people. Not. They're just so cute. <laughs> Laura says you are the mighty master. <laughs> well, as I said, I still have a long way to go to get a master at master, <laughs> <laughs> master the mitre. Yeah, yeah. Muchas gracias, Cassi uh, Mira. <laughs> okay, so once you apply the molding. Or the tree and the woodland products on surface. If you want to go for clean, nice uh, surface, you might clean the extra glue with a wet wipe, cotton bulb, or a wet paint brush. Now, to mitre the products, you have to warm up really well the both sides, then overlap one another, and then make one cut on both of them. So then it will look like one. For that, you will need just a cut knife. Okay, let's put them in the position. Yeah. Then take one out, take two out, join them together, and voila. Wow, all of a sudden Miha becomes French. <laughs> <laughs> well, the danger of my terrain. <laughs> that's Artemis' fault. <laughs> She's running around here and sp speaking French all day long. So. Oh, Laura is just being the absolute sweetest. She says, Leah is a fabulous assistant, aren't I just? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did so well on the live the other day, thank you. So the live that Laura's talking about was the uh, release party that mm -hmm. you did with Jonathan Mark Mendez. Oh, when I did the intro. Yeah, it was really fun. Oh, all right. 
usually are fun. So it was fun, but I was not expecting to be up on that camera. <laughs> I went from sitting on my surprise. <laughs> If life gives you lemons, you make a live video. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that. Okay. So now we have that joint here. It's barely visible. But if you take some paper and you go over, you will make it even less vi visible. And don't forget everybody whilst me hi's doing that. Let me go grab the decoupage to the win. So you will be winning this exact piece. I'm holding it here if you can see that. So this is the puffin decoupage that Lee High's got and all he's done is he's cut round the puffin. So the thing about the decoupage, you don't have to use all of it. You can, but you don't have to. Um, and to win, you just need to like this video, share the video, comment that you've shared it, and I'll be picking and choosing a winner um, probably today, but I'll announce it on uh, Monday on our Posh Talk Artisans and Creators group. And the link to that will also be in the comments. So now, would you mind to do the light a bit? Yeah. Thank you. Now, look at that. Once it will be painted, you will definitely not be able to you will then gonna see the uh, the join. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate that in a second. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take our posh chalk molding paintbrush to do that. And I'm gonna take some pearl silver, because that's the one we've used. And I'm gonna go over. Posh chalk molding brush, it was created exactly for the molding, moldings, as thanks to its pointed tip, it goes into all the intricate details. Nooks and crannies. <laughs> exactly. Gina says, Oh, I need that puffin. And then she shared it. So exactly, Gina, if you should share, if you can share the video, you could win the puffin. To make the metallic paste uh, spread better, use a vaporizer or splitter. It's not it's more a vaporizer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're bringing you in a little bit closer. Just, <laughs> Solly just tired of seeing me high space. <laughs> uh, okay. That was a good job. <laughs> oh, but it was a joke. <laughs> okay. And as we did the first time, I'm going to go over a bit with some. black carbon, so it's going to be like a puffin in a fog. Oh, that's so cute. Right, and now let's go with a bit of black carbon. So while the metallic base is still wet, it's quite easy to blend one in another. So. And if it dried, just spill some water over and it will help to blend it. Oh, Tracy shared on YouTube, she shared it with her daughter who loves the puffins. <laughs> it is such a cute design though, I absolutely love it. Really, really sweet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you guys off the camera and just give you a little bit more of a close up for those of you watching on Facebook. I shall not get my chins in it. <laughs> so where was the scene from the, the trims? Sorry? Where was the scene from the trims? Oh, somewhere here. Somewhere here. Can anybody spot it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's coming at you with a brush. <laughs> well, I'm going to go to this another one and add a bit of more. And that's the 
that's the thing with our products. You may personalize a lot of them. So you may take our wood event, third generation moldings, combine them, miter them, and create your own. The same exactly with decoupage. You may join more decoupage paper together to create your own design. Oh, thank you for everybody sprinkling love. It's really nice to see all the love hearts coming in. So does anybody have any questions about what Mihai's doing? Uh, like with the decoupage, with the mouldings, with mitering, with blending? Feel free to ask away and we'll um, answer as best we can. <laughs> That's the last layer. When you blend or when you paint, it always requested to have more layers for a better, for better a result. So. That's why the first layer were only for depth, and those ones now are the final ones. Sorry. Okay. Uh, YouTube is looking through some water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what else would have been nice? A dark blue. Oh. Nice. We could probably grab one if we've got time. Well, I, got time yeah. on. I guess we're out of time. Yeah. Right, well, so here it is. Oh, look at how cute that is. <laughs> I just hit my head on the light, everyone. That's why I go wobbling. <laughs> and out of it, you can create anything. You may, if you, you may even apply some liquid glass or a plastic to protect it, or just go with another layer of infuser if you want it. And you may use it as a tray, as a coaster, or just add the hooks and we'll get a key holder. It's all up to you and your imagination. That's why try and you have nothing to lose. Right on. Thanks everyone for being with us. Don't forget, like, share, and sprinkle, share some love, show to everyone, and maybe you'll be the one winning the decoupage. The decoupage just used. We will announce uh, <laughs> the user. We will announce the, the winner in our Porsche Talk and Woodband Artisan group later on. And uh, Gina, yes, it's a Woodband base and they have bought from our TR23. So from that, we have created the board, the coaster, the tray. Hello, thanks everyone for being with us. Have a lovely day. Thank you See so you much for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye. I've got to turn YouTube off now. Goodbye, YouTube. <laughs>